Once you have established and maintain a trade relationship with a trusted foreign buyer, you may consider using the documentary collection payment method for your next export transaction. Used for merchandise and commodity exports, the documentary collection payment method can simplify your export transaction, offer faster payment, and reduce costs compared to letters of credit. In a documentary collection transaction, the exporters and importers' banks facilitate the export sale by exchanging shipping documents for payment. Fees are lower because the banks do not verify that the documents are accurate and do not guarantee payment as with letters of credit. Documentary collections are recommended for established trade relationships in economically and politically stable markets. Because banks do not guarantee payment, you should be confident your buyer has a reliable history of paying on time. Here is how a documentary collection transaction works. First, the exporter and importer agree to a documentary collection for payment in the sales agreement. Next, the exporter prepares a bill of exchange and sends it to their bank for forwarding to the importer's bank. The bill of exchange, also called a draft, provides instructions to the banks about the required documents, payment amount due, the terms of payment, and when title transfers for the goods. The exporter ships the goods and sends the required documents to its bank. These documents include the commercial invoice, bill of lading, and other shipping forms. The exporter's bank ensures receipt of all documents required by the bill of exchange, then forwards them to the importer's bank. Next, the importer's bank releases the documents according to one of the two pre-selected options specified in the bill of exchange. Option 1 is release of documents upon receipt from the importer of full payment. Option 2 is the release of the documents upon receipt of the importer's signed acceptance of terms that commit to future payment. The importer uses the documents to clear the goods through the Foreign Customs Agency. Finally, the importer's bank forwards the importer's payment to the exporter's bank account. If the importer does not pay, the exporter typically needs to find another buyer, pay for return transportation, or abandon the merchandise. Since each export transaction is unique, consult with your bank to learn about how a documentary collection is different from a letter of credit, what type or size of transaction is suitable, and how disputes are resolved between the importer and exporter. Using a documentary collection, the export transaction with a well-established foreign buyer can be faster, simpler, and less costly. For more information on trade finance options, visit trade.gov forward slash export solutions.